join as you go is one method of joining granny squares. There are many ways to join granny squares, but what I will teach you today is for me the most neat. Now we can start. For this particular joining or join as you go method, I will be using only one color of thread and right now I'm using Aunt Lydia number 10 crochet thread so I start with a slip knot and this corner I start at the bottom right corner of the yellow square which is the rightmost pattern okay so do half half corner only so chain three two more double crochets Chain one to separate it from the uh, next shell. So three more double crochets here. So you do an, the normal granny square, hiding your tail. Okay. So you do this un until you reach this corner. Then I'll meet you up here. Okay. I will be keep I will keep on turning my my pattern. Uh, but hopefully you could uh, understand and that you will not be confused with what we will be doing. So I'll do the normal granny square until here. Do the corner. For this particular tutorial, I will separate the corner the two shells by using a uh, chain three so we'll meet up here so that you will see and then we will do this upper part until we reach this one this this the lower left of the yellow square i'm almost finished with this um yellow square so I'm doing my last, uh, okay, hold on. So in this particular corner, the, uh, this would be your third corner, suppo supposed to be your third corner, just do half or do not finish off with a complete corner so don't do only three double crochets so this will be how it will look like uh, you have completed three sides except that both the corners on the first and the third are not complete they are only half so if you are using um then we will start joining the red but if you are um if you are using like you can use uh, chain two or chain three in in the corners what we will do now is uh i'll be using chain three so do a chain three But instead of completing the corner, go straight in this uh, corner of the, the red, hold on, this one. Just go straight here to make half of the corner again. So 
do three double crochets here. And then join by doing a slip stitch in this uh, chain one space. So slip stitch, continue with uh, by doing three double crochets in this next chain one space. So. Join again. By doing a slip stitch. So what will happen will be do a double crochet again here. Three double crochets. Join. Double crochet. Three double crochets again and join. I will meet you up here. So uh, just continue doing the uh, normal um, granny square joining in each of the space um, here on the yellow yellow pattern and I'll see you in this uh, part I'm almost done with the joining but just to show you again how I join, just do a slip stitch, do three more double crochets here. Join in this last uh, then do three more double crochets in this corner now we have done half of the corner but instead of joining this will be the inside part of the pattern so Instead of joining, just do chain 3. And then, do another 3 double crochets here. So if you will notice, we did not join the corners. Don't worry about that. Um, we will be doing that later. So, now that we have joined the one side of this, you will notice these are open or uh, without the squares or without the normal double crochets. So, finish off or do a normal granny square until this just don't complete the square or the corner so let's meet up here now I'm finishing off with my last or my third corner so do okay hold on I forgot to do a the chain one so do three double crochets And as usual, don't complete the corner. Instead, do chain three. And let me do it this way. 
so that you're gonna see what happened here um, our next color would be the yellow green so chain three and immediately do three double crochets in the corner of this uh, square next by use join by using a slip knot slip stitch so okay, hold on oh hold on hold on I made a mistake it should be okay join using a slip stitch here Double crochets here and then slip stitch again in this part. Continue doing this kind of joining as you go um, until this last part, and then we'll meet up again. Always remember, do not uh, join this corner with this. So I'll, I'll I'll meet you up here again. So we are here again. Um, in the corner of the last supposed to be the last uh, square that we're doing for this tutorial so join this again using a slip stitch so do another three double crochet for this particular corner Always remember don't join this corner so chain three and complete this corner but in this particular tutorial we will be only doing three but you can do as much like my next project will be a uh, bedspread so I will be joining along um, along uh, or many of the squares but for this particular tutorial we stop on the second actually the third corner only two sides will be done we let we leave this two sides undone or we don't do this so because this will be the last square for this particular tutorial I hope you are not confused but when we finish this thing I think you will understand more so I'll do and meet you up here we imagine that this will be the last of the pattern okay so we did chain um, hold on three double crochets and we will not continue or we will not complete the corner so these two sides will remain um, open or not touched yet similar to this so to join the three or the second row we do chain three 
and instead of completing the square we immediately sorry but I will I have to turn a little bit okay we have to join immediately in the corner of this orange So, okay. do three double crochets. So, let's lay it out like this. So, if you will not, this will be the appearance. So, I will join after doing three double crochets i will join using a slip stitch in this um in this part okay hold on uh, okay I joined already, so I will be doing um, another shell composed of uh, three double crochets here. There's a hair. So join again. So that the chain one is actually replaced uh, by a slip stitch in the joining of the squares. So we did a slip stitch. So we do another three double crochets here until we reach this this part and we meet up here we have finished joining the last side or the last cluster or shell in this uh, in this side so we do three double crochets for the corner You will notice there are the two dangling um, corners here. So, to join this part, we will do or join this square diagonally to this um, or we join the, in the diagonal square. So, chain one. We skip this corner, join in this uh, diagonal corner or diagonal square using a slip stitch also. Okay, and then chain one, and then you stop. Okay, but instead of completing the square, we go to and get the next granny square that we will be joining and we will be just doing we will be just joining all the this one side so go straight we i already did a chain one so go straight to three double crochet in this particular uh, corner so, three double crochets. Join. I'm doing 
a slip stitch do three double crochets here Just continue joining the side and then uh, after, when you reach this corner, join in this diagonal, um, this dia uh, diagonally here and uh, I'll meet you up or teach you again how to join here in this diagonal square. We're now here again in the corner. So do three double crochets. Chain one. Skip this, uh, skip this corner. Go to the diagonal corner join by using a slip stitch chain one and then instead of completing the corner go ahead and do three double crochets in the next uh, square. So, three double crochets only. Join again, hold on. Join again by doing a slip stitch. Join the side and I'll meet you up here in the corner. I'm almost at the end of this um, final uh, square. So Join this using a slip stitch. Do three double crochets in the last, uh, this will be the last shell of the side. Double crochets for the corner. And because this will be the edge of our um, sheet or blanket, we have to complete this part so chain one and then we have to join with we will not leave this uh, unjoined or not joined so don't don't mind this one so we will be coming back to those corners when we turn so we mind this first because this will be the edge of the blanket so after chain one Join here using a slip stitch, chain one again, and then make three double crochets or do the normal granny square until you reach this 
uh, point before joining here in the uh, next diagonal corner. So, just do this and then um, until here, we'll meet up here in this point. We are almost finished with this side. So, we do our last shell composed of three double crochets. Chain one. And um, let's do the other half of the corner before we join in this diagonal um, corner here. So, okay. three double crochets. pull this a little bit so that I can explain to you what to do here. Okay. So, we will join in this part, in this loose corner. So, it's either you get um, you do it under, over or under this, um, this two corners. The only reminder that I will give you, or always remember, do everything, or you must work on the whole blanket using, if ever you choose to be under or over, one direction only. So if it's under, it's all, everything will be under. If it's over, everything will be over. So I'll be doing under, so... I already chained one, so let me do this. Pull and then chain two, one, two. Okay, and do the other half of the corner in the next granny square. So, chain, um, do three double crochets. This is the second and then the third. And then, join as, uh, as you go, join here. Okay. So you will just do this all around until you reach uh, this point again. So I'll meet you up again in this part. In this in this case, three double crochet join, three double crochet join. Until you reach the corner and then the, you do the usual granny square. Let's meet up here in this uh, before we join again in this corner. So we are about to join again. So chain one. Do three double crochets in this corner for, your, for the uh, remaining half. Chain, chain one. So in this part, we got it from the from under. So we also do that here. So under, pull this, and then chain two. So, 
Hold on. And then we do the other half of the corner in the following granny square. Then join here. So there, the same. And then uh, continue three double crochets. until you reach again this corner I will show you again how to join in this uh, edge so this is the last uh, part of the side after joining we do the corner and uh, just a reminder this part is still the inside or the body of the blanket so just to remind you we will not join so we leave this corner open so chain 3 and then do the usual um, granny square. So continue until you reach this part or the third, the final corner. And I will um, teach you again how to join in this um, loose corner here. So so this just leave the both uh, corners unattached so because this is still the body we joined here because this is already the edge so we meet up in this corner now we are here again in almost in the corner so chain one do half of the corner which is uh, composed of three double crochets chain one and uh, we are doing under or we're getting the connection under so put your hook under grab your loop and chain two two and do the other half of the other corner so three double crochets join the three double crochets again here join okay just continue until you finish this side but remember complete this uh, corner without joining in the other 
corner of the granny square so we just leave this two corners these two corners and attached so because they are still connected to the body of the blanket before before we join the third row so we are again uh towards the third uh, corner of the second row so you will notice this side this side of the blanket is already joined or finished this side or there are two sides not uh, complete so later on you will understand why we are doing this so right now what we will do is to make half of the corner for the last for this uh, particular granny square so three double crochets chain three but instead of completing that corner we immediately do three double crochets in the next corner of the next granny square or the next row so we will be just joining one side of this of this row join so just continue until this um, corner and we will join instead of this corner we will join in the diagonal corner or of the granny square now we are here again in the corner of this granny square so what we will do um, do three double crochets chain one and join in this uh, chain one again and do three double crochets immediately in the corner of the next granny square so only this part or only the bottom part will be joined or one side will only be joined in each granny square just like the second row just like what we did in the second row a while ago okay so finish up to the two granny granny squares before we um, attach or we join in this uh, end
Okay, this is the edge again of the blanket. So, what we will do is to, after doing a half corner, so chain one, we will join since this is the edge. So, Chain one again and then continue doing your regular granny square. We are here again in the corner. Three double crochets. Chain, uh, I forgot, chain one. And we did everything here under, so this one. Pull this loop under. other half of the grand of this corner join okay. and because this is the last row we will not leave any, uh, you know, dangling or unattached corner. So when we reach here, we will we will join this corner in this part, like what we did in this side. So we'll meet up in this uh, part here, the last uh, clap or shell of this side of the grand square. So I'm here at the last. Um, corner of this side okay so three double crochets chain one slip stitch in this uh, corner Chain one again, and then continue the normal or the usual granny square until you reach this point. So don't um, leave any dangling or unattached corner, especially in the body of the uh, blanket. So uh, I'll meet you up in this part again. So we are here again in the corner. Do your um, half of the corner, which is composed of three double crochets. Chain one. Under, grab the loop, chain two, then do the usual or the normal um, grand square. Uh, oh, before that, join join in this side first. Double crochet, uh, three double crochets, and then join. Then join also. 
the two corners here at this edge. So we meet up here in this part. We're now here in the corner. So do your shell composed of three double crochets. Chain one. Slip stitch in this corner. Chain one again. And do the normal granny square. Until this part. So we are now finishing off all the unfinished sides and in this um, we must also check everything first that are if they are properly attached and in this thing which is a little bit uh, tricky so what we will do is um, do your three double crochets chain one and just do a slip stitch directly in this chain three loop okay chain one again do the other half of the corner here in this uh, next granny square so you just do that all around all um in all the unattached uh, corners so this is similar to the two other corners here. Do the usual granny square here. And when you reach this point, do the half of your corner, chain one and then join using a slip stitch, chain one again and then do the other half. So do that around until you complete the blanket. So, everything will be ready with the edges. So, we'll try to meet up and review later.
So just continue doing the regular grand square. Almost done joining or completing every side of our blanket and we are here in the last corner where we started so we make our final corner so three double crochets do a chain three and then join in this first uh, double crochet so now finish and you could do as big as whatever size you want right now I'm doing a bed spread for a twin size my bed is just twin so this is for a twin size bed so I'm already on the second row uh, that's why I do the tutorial on a smaller piece because I cannot do this or I cannot finish this immediately maybe it will take me months to finish this but I'm using the join as you go method that I taught you a while ago 